hello guys doing good this is nasir today in this video i am going to uh, create a chart using microsoft powerpoint 2010 so without wasting much of our time let's get started in this video i am going to show you how to create this uh, vertical bar chart using microsoft powerpoint 2010 here in this chart this chart is user to uh, display the data of a performance of X organization for past 10 years so this chart we are going to create now using Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 so what we are going to do is first of all go into your start screen and go into the all programs then look for Microsoft Office just click on that and after that look for Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 just click on that okay now what we have to do is as you can see here uh, after clicking on Microsoft PowerPoint you're going to see this interface get displayed in front of you this is Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 okay just remove these two boxes they are of no use for us as of now so let us look at our chart so this is our chart so here you can see we have years okay here years are 2001 to till 2010 and with varied scores like 80, 60, 60, 70, 60, 80 80, 60, 60, 70, 60, 80 90, 50, 80, 60 so now what I am going to do is I am going to create the same chart here so to do that just go into insert which will be on top of your screen on Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 just click on charts and look for this column so this is the vertical bar chart we need this just click on this and then press ok after you press ok you are going to see the screen gets divided into two one is the chart and the one is the front data that is one is the front display data and the other is back data this back data is going to be represented in format of chart so here what you need to do is we know we don't need here see if you properly look at here you are going to see a series of three bar chart uh, four bar charts okay series of three bar charts of four categories one two three one two three one two three one two three okay now we no need uh, we don't need this three okay we need only one per category okay so to do that just click here as you can see here a small at the corner you can see a small dot just as you take your cursor there you are going to see a two way arrow get displayed just click on that and drag it to the left of your screen okay then drag it down till here now ok now here I am going to type 2001 ok then I am going to press control on my keyboard and take my cursor to the corner of this dot then click on that and take the cursor to the down till 2010 we need the data hence I leave the cursor here itself that's it now I'm going to bring this to the up so this is how we have done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the data first of all I'm going to look at the chart we need here 2001 okay for 2001 it's 80 60 so I'm going to insert 80 60 60 70 80 90 50 80 60 so our back data is ready just close this window
after you close this window after you close the back data now this is our actual data now we have to do formatting 50% of the work has been done now the rest work going to be uh, I'm going to do here itself so just click on this series and press delete on your keyboard just click on this series one and press delete on your keyboard after that just press on these lines okay and delete okay just press here delete okay now we need this okay if you look at our data see okay so this is how actual chart is and this is how our chart is now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the font size of this numbers 2001 to 2010 and to check it just select that and go here and you could see calibrate 12 and same thing I'm going to do just click on that I'm going to go in home then I'm going to set it to 12 this has been done and after that just click on this bars right click them and click on format data labels no. format data series after you click on format data series you could see here the series overlap is 0 and gap width is 62 now I am going to set the same there ok right click and format ok this thing has been done now here I have to add data labels that I can do in this way just click here and you can see that all get selected here this corner you as you see bubbles this represent that all bars have been selected just right click and to delete it and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here these all get selected just click on add data labels okay after adding the data labels now click here and we need its size to be 11 so you can see here I have selected this and went to the font its size is 11 same thing I'm going to apply here 11 okay and these are in bold you can see here bold and this color is brown so I'm going to now make them bold bold and color is brown okay done so the color can be changed see this is the color standard okay otherwise you can go in more color and you can choose here itself okay now here I don't need I, w I have to change the color of this bars to this color and to do that I'm going to the shape fill and look for this color this is the color which I need to change the bar color so just select those bars and go to that color and click here the bar colors have been changed here and now even these bars have shadow in the background so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in design no format then I'm going to go in shape effects then shadow this is a shadow I think yeah okay perfect so now here you could see that there's no line present but here's the, here's the line so I'm going to select this right click format axis then none ok after that close see those dots have been disappeared but still the lines exist here so now what I am going to do is I am going to again select this line ok select this box it should be in box ok then I am going to go in text uh, to go in home then shape outline uh, and get no outline ok see the line has disappeared now you could see both are same 
and the you can uh, there's no difference between these two charts okay so now what i am going to do is i am going to add this header and footer to this slide so to do that simply i am going to go in my insert and look for shapes then click here click on this rectangle you're going to see a plus symbol appears on the screen just click on the corner of your screen and drag it to the right mm -hmm. same thing i'm going to do it here same thing i'm going to implement at the bottom also just uh, hold control on your keyboard no no first of all click on this banner and hold control on your keyboard then drag it to the bottom this is another way to copy the shapes ok now this thing has been done now i am going to click on it go in format and i am going to give the shape outline as no outline ok the same thing i am going to apply here no outline ok so our presentation has been done to 90% now I am going to insert this text performance of X organization for past 10 years and to do that text box performance of X orga uh, organization for past 10 years select this whole thing I'm going to see the font size it's 28 now I'm going to go in home to select the whole header text and keep it as 28 so this is how I have created the chart as you can see there's no difference between these two but the shadow is back yeah the shadow is in front so it can be easily changed layout and design format then shape effects okay this thing has been done so you could see that there is no difference between these two charts so this is how we are going to create horizontal bar chart in microsoft powerpoint 2010 so hope you like this video like us on facebook at facebook.com slash softwaretechnology.info please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking subscribe button which is at the top of right corner of the screen please do support us thank you